they will look into the coolest way to add visual sketches to your Obsidian nodes. Okay, the power of Obsidian Community Plugins is just getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. It's incredible. Let me just show you. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is Excalidraw. I'm going to show you where to find it and more information, how to learn it and so on. But it's just incredible. I'm just playing with it. I'm pretty new to it still. But of course, the biggest sell for me is the fact that it has dark mode and it looks incredible. And look at the kind of stuff I can do. I can just move things around and as you can see, dynamically, these arrows follow it. It's just something I love. I love making mind maps and just having the functionality to be able to dynamically move things around. It's just incredible. I mean, there's there's some features that you won't believe even exist. I mean, just take a look at the kind of stuff that you can do. I'm gonna click into this arrow. I can just move it around by holding Alt. I can add extra points to it. And now I'm gonna reconnect this to here. And now that arrow even bends, you know? It's just, it's just incredible. Look at that, right? It's awesome. Now, I also dropped tons of icons around. I'm, I'm gonna show you more about that. You can create any type of shape with this and you can modify the way that it looks in all types of styles, which is pretty cool. You can change the color, of course. Stuff like that, right? You can always do freehand drawing if you want or create arrows like that, make shapes. A lot of this functionality is just the basics of Excalidraw.com, the original one. But the things that you can do here in Obsidian are just ridiculous. Okay, but right now I just want to blow your mind. Take a look at this. There's a bit of text in here. And this text is not just text that works inside of this diagram. This is an actual link to one of my nodes in Obsidian. So I'm just going to use the shortcut Control shift click to open in a separate pane. And look at that. This is a separate file. So you can link to Obsidian files from inside of this. Wow. As you can see, this is just a file in here. So White Dogs Like Squeaky Toys is right here. It's just a, that file. And I could link from the drawing, from the sketch, right? How crazy is that? That that blew my mind. I didn't think something that would be possible. Either this is Santi from the future. I forgot to mention how I'm adding these links. So let me just show you that real quick. Okay, so there's a couple of ways. Let's just create a new file. This one is called Untitled. And in here, if I just put text, I can just type double bracket Untitled, right? However, of course, that is easy one is a simple thing to spell, but if it's something longer, you can actually press Command P and then you can write Excalidro, insert link to file. That way you can select the file that I want to link, right? So for instance, this one about sharks, right? And even better, another alternative is just as simple as grabbing the file from the sidebar in here that you want and just dropping it in there. It's incredible. And then to open it in another pane, I'm using Control Shift click, that opens it there. There you go. That's it for me, back to the video. So the same is going on with these other ones right here. Now this one right here is the same idea, right? What's crazy is that from this same view by holding control and hovering over it, I can already vis visualize the insides of that note. It's pretty crazy. Now, what is going on in this other one? I'm glad you asked because this one is mind blowing. This is not the title of any of the files. This is the actual contents of a note. So in order to understand what's actually going on in there, let me show you. So Obsidian uses the double score bracket in order to link notes, but if you put an exclamation mark at the beginning of that, you can embed the contents of a note. And believe it or not, this works in here. So let me show you. In here, we can actually see and change to something called raw mode for this plugin, that's how it's called. And in here, we can actually see what's going on. So this is an embedded note. If you take a look, I do have a note under that title. So this is an embedded note. This is the content of that. And that's exactly what we wrote in here, right? We just did that by using the text tool, right? Now, when we're in presentation mode, it's gonna actually take the content of that note. Let me show you, let me open this in a separate pane. There you go, so you can see if I write something in here, actually to refresh it, it's just good to switch back here and you will be able to see that now the content of that is there. I'm gonna delete it, I'm just gonna toggle this on and off and there you go, right? So whatever happens in here, you can actually visualize it in the Excalidra plugin. It's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing as you can see. I'll show you more about it, but first let me just show you of course where to install it and actually where to learn more because right now I'm just giving you an overview of what is possible. I think it requires to learn a little bit more and there's tons of little things that you definitely need to understand before you reap the full potential. So of course this is an Obsidian plugin. So if you go to the settings on the bottom gear icon right here and you go to community plugins, you can search for it by typing Excalidro 
The creator of this short is just a genius. Honestly, if you scroll through here, you're gonna be able to find a series of videos. So just honestly watch these ones. I spent a couple of hours just watching and practicing to fully understand things. These videos are super well explained. Some of these things are actually pretty advanced and they're not that beginner friendly, but at least the first videos are really gonna help you understand how to make the most out of this plugin. I highly recommend it. So of course, make sure to install the plugin, enable it, and then you will also be able to access some of the settings in Excalibur in here. So, you know, like there's tons of things to play around in here, definitely explore. Watch the video tutorials from the creator of this plugin, they'll explain things way better than I could right now. <laughs> Just to give you an example of an amazing setting, how to export PNG, that helps you export your sketch, your drawing into a PNG file, and you can actually keep it updated. That makes it, of course, way more compatible. So as you can see in here, I have a file with the actual image. You can embed, actually, let me show you how embedding works. I'm gonna create a new note. Embedding is Kali Draw Test. And from here, I can actually grab the original file. And if I put an exclamation mark at the beginning, just like that, I can visualize it, right? The cool thing about this one is that if I click on it, it's gonna take me there, right? But if I go back, you can also just take the PNG file. And that is also gonna be seen here. Of course, that's a bit bigger. And of course, this file you could easily share it around in your website and so on. Whereas the Excalibur file is more of something that you use within Obsidian and it's not that easy to share. So I highly recommend using something like the PNG exporting functionality because that's just gonna make it way easier for you to share it around if that's what you're looking for, right? But with that, let me just show you another really cool thing about this plugin. Even though this is kind of its own application, its own system, what you can do is you can actually for instance, take a look at this, right? It says, modify this text, my name is Santi, right? So what is amazing about this is that you can also open it as a markdown file. So if I open as markdown, I can switch to edit mode. And then from here, you can see, modify this text. There's tons of little things that you don't need to touch. You know, all of this, you definitely don't need to touch. Try not to mess up with the little blog references numbers in here, but you can always mess up with the text. I'm gonna open this side by side so that you can see it. And if I change the text in here, you can see that that automatically changes in the original file. I can close this and now our file has been modified, which of course you can always do from here as well. It's just that being able to modify things from the markdown file gives you, gives you tons of additional functionality that you can leverage other plugins instead of Obsidian and do crazy stuff, right? Almost forgot to show you, this is incredible. You can even have these libraries. So if you browse for libraries, as you can see, I already have them installed, but if you browse for libraries, it's gonna take you to this website where you can add these icons to your library. So of course, if you add to Excalibur, that is for Excalibur.com. But if you want to have it in Obsidian, you just download it. That file is now in my downloads folder. I can come back here, load, select the file that I need, enter it and there we go if i scroll down i'll see that all these icons are already available for me and they look good between light mode <laughs> and dark mode right it's incredible hopefully that scratched the surface so that you get a bit of an idea of what is possible in here you can do all types of stuff you can organize your notes visually there's just so many things that you can do out of it so if you have any questions actually let me know because i'd love to explore it further this community plugin really leverages the power of obsidian benefit from amazing tools like this so if you could still consider yourself a beginner and you're still kind of lost about certain things or how I did certain things in Obsidian definitely check out my Obsidian course a step by step how to get better at Obsidian and really understand it so if you're interested definitely check out the link in the description it helps me keep making these videos and it's the best way to learn Obsidian especially if you're just getting started with it and with that said I'll see you in the next video bye Yeah.